Pop Scoop. Pop Scoop. I'm here at Sundown Festival with Calvin James. Yeah, okay. So you've got a new album coming out. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, I've got an album coming out probably early next year. I'm just doing the finishing touches. Um, I just released a song called Lights On not too long ago, which is like the first single of it. And uh, it's going to be a couple more in the album. Okay, cool, cool. So uh, you had a really big song that absolutely blew up, Call Me Home. Yeah, Call You Home, yeah. Yeah, Call You Home. How quick did it blow up? Um, in super quickly in stages. So the first thing is that I wrote this song. Um, I was in university and I wrote this song and I put it on YouTube and it had maybe like like 500 views or something. You know, after a month and then one night it jumped because a friend of mine put the song on Reddit and people just loved it and it went from like 500 views to just over a million in one night. And then it was played on Good Morning America and all these places and then. Maybe about half a year later, I recorded it properly, but this was like a room, like a bedroom recording, you know. And I released that, and that went gold. Uh, went gold in Germany, about two hundred thousand, and that was that took about maybe two or three months or something. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Is there any sort of story behind your new album? Like, what inspired you? Yeah, it's yeah, definitely. Like all the songs, um, the, the the first thing that I go to is sort of what is my viewpoint on where I'm at in life and what's going on around me. I, I don't usually write from the perspective of like others or what's going on with things that I don't really know. I, I tend to stick with what do I know and what in my limited 24 year old knowledge, what have I understood so far of what the world is. So that's usually the first point. And usually my heart gravitates towards the ones around me. So like my family, my, my, my girlfriend, my friends, like how I feel about them, about the things that they're going through, that's usually, yeah, that sort of encompasses what it is. It's this closed circle, which somehow, when I put it out, tends to connect with people in their own closed circle as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, what would you say is the biggest setback you've had as a musician, or any advice you can give to a young musician about um, what not to do, what to do? That's an interesting question. Um, setbacks, what not to do. Um, I think, I'm trying to think the biggest setbacks that I've had have been through probably um, things that I wish I put out but didn't. Right. So songs that I wish, like moments that have passed, if that makes sense. So I have a song and I think this song is really killer. I think this song, it just it connects to me and maybe I share it with some people. Maybe I don't get the response that I'm hoping for, but I still think it's fantastic. Yeah. And then I go, oh, if, if everyone's not sure, then let's just hold on. Let's just leave it. And then, you know, four or five months down the line, everyone goes, I actually love that song, actually. And I'm like, no, if you just told me, then I would, ah. So I, it's kind of learning to trust yourself more and more. If you if you think something really difficult connects with you, then yeah, ask other people, but most importantly, ask yourself. That's probably the biggest advice. That's definitely a good message, definitely. Uh, what sort of genres should we be hearing on the new album? Is I've noticed you've got like a few sort of sounds, like kind of, a bit country in some songs and you kind know, of different in each. What I'm, what I'm, I think there's two key things. One is definitely just pop. Yeah. I think that's the simplest way. It sounds like a dirty word to a lot of people, but <laughs> it, it, you know, it's really not. It just pop just means you know songs usually that you can sing along to, and that's in essence what I've tried to create from the music that I grew up listening to and the music that I like to listen to is stuff that I can, I can sing along to and I can tell that that's the chorus. So that's the kind of thing that I go for. And then the other thing I fell in love with in the last year or so are these big gospel choirs. Yeah. I love these big, beautiful, stacked voices and you hear it in like, you know, Stay With Me, Sam Smith, or you know, you hear it in these songs where it's just like almost gospel. Like, So I, I love, um, in this album, I, I got a choir together and we got into a church and we went into a beautiful big venue and we recorded these beautiful sounds, basically. Okay, that's exciting to look forward to. Who's your dream collab? Um, do you know what? Do you know what? Oh, well, that's two different questions because my, my biggest inspiration is John Mayer. Right. It's a, I don't know if you were aware of John Mayer, but he's yeah. like a, um, yeah, American kind of a pop um, blues artist. But I don't know if he's my dream collaboration simply because I've learned so much from him. I think it would be like putting water and water together in a way because it's right. kind of like you need somebody to give some to bring something different. Yeah. Um, I've been non stop listening to Jax Jones, who was on later. Yeah. I've been non stop listening to his stuff for like the last two or three months. Right. And that excites me because it's got nothing to do with what other than the fact that it's pop, that's the only thing that connects us. But all the sound and everything else is completely he doesn't pick up a guitar, you know what yeah. I mean? So to put those things together and see what happens, that's how you got, you know, um, Wake Me Up. 
Avicii and Alo back. These two worlds come together. So that's probably something that I'd be excited to do. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time today. My pleasure. And yeah, when things like this do your album, you should go check it out. Pop scoop.